How do I get up here? Wait, I, let me make sure it's recording first because I'm okay. I've been because I made too much content before and for it not to record and just kill me on the inside. It's not fun. Wait, this thing? agree with this, okay? Okay. 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 Mental note. Mental note. They always fucking come out when you approach that shit. So approach it, then get out, and then kill, then re re-engage. I guess. You can't, you can't run all because this restarts your fucking stamina. Okay, coming forward. This is gonna blow.
Okay, well, I, I did not expect that guy to be there. I saved you. I'm stuck. It's fun, right? Go this way. Yeah, this still makes sense. Maybe if I go pull over here. Yeah, okay.
Alright, Griffin, just come down and kill me. I'm ready for it. I think I ain't. Wait, this is a strong version of that weapon. <laughs> They're just chilling in there, cool. Alright, ready for, for something to happen. If I need it, like he's going straight. I know a werewolf is coming for me. Oh, my God, I'm going to die. I can't keep doing this. Oh my, what the fuck? I need... I need something. This is just over? Do I just lose? I could suck up these things, right? Yeah, you mean Okay, I am not that stressed out anymore. You got this. It worked last time.
Deckard. Deckard, my God. How did you survive that blast? There's no sign of Vivian. She must have been vaporized. Pandora's box. <laughs> it shattered into a million pieces. There's no way we can use it to banish the creatures now. Luckily, we still got you. That signet on your arm. It's our last hope. Remember those scans we took at Council Headquarters? It turns out your signet contains encoded instructions on how to build a new box. We just need to figure out how to read those instructions. I'm sorry it came to this, but we can't afford to ask nicely. Just remember, this is for the good of humanity. That's when the Council turned on Deckard. Lexington didn't even give him a chance to volunteer. They just snatched him up and threw him in a prison cell to study like a lab rat. Of course, they assumed I was killed in the destruction of Pandora's box, just like they assumed Deckard couldn't escape from their prison. <laughs> Two assumptions that turned out to be quite false and would have terrible consequences for the Council later on. Especially when they came to realize what the truth of Pandora's box was and how Deckard became determined to set things right. Just not in the way anyone expected. Huh. That was funny. And she fucking died. <laughs> Kinda okay ending. I wish they had given like one last scene to where it'd be like, yeah, just fucking these monsters don't attack you anymore. They're on your team and just destroy this headquarters. Go in. Oh man, that was that game was really fucking cool though. It was really immersive. I knew it was gonna be in four parts. Did I know it? I felt like it was. I felt like I knew it. Because the whole time the game was just like, like in fours, you know, or in evens. Uh, when I came like Kraken, you know that you know there's usually three, three big hits and they're they're dead. But it was four, so that's what made me assume it was gonna be four parts to this. Huh. I want to learn more about this game, like this is kind of how they developed it and stuff. Cause I feel like it was made pretty quickly. They didn't focus on all the right parts. The ending was was kind of lame, you know. It wasn't it wasn't it wasn't that tough. It was just more tedious. But you do feel like a badass, like because they they throw you the same enemies with the same weapons, no different weapons, but the same enemies, right? And they still got their own their own little tricks and. and Stuff up their sleeves, but you, you just you're just better, and you recognize more. And it feels feels good fighting those those monsters. Um, that was pretty cool too. It's like like they could just your average Joe Schmo, but he just just I don't know, he just the fucking doom, but. With this stuff, with, with, with Greek mythology, Pandora's box. He's doom man. <laughs> Literally, it's pretty crazy. Uh, I'll say I'll give it... Uh, yeah, I think it was like a 6 out of 10, honestly. But... I'll say overall it's like an 8 out of 10 for me. It was so immersive and all, all of the characters were really cool and not the characters but like the monsters, the guns and how everything kind of interacted. It was very grounded and very, uh, um, how should I say, like meaty, fleshy and it never got boring. Like, even though I fought those, were the, those werewolves like 10 times, like uh, the fact that I need to execute them, like shoot them in the head, make sure they're dead or, uh, or like there's even bigger werewolves that like take like more than just eight shots with the shotgun. Those those those, those are pretty cool. Kind of anticlimactic with the two minotaurs. Like the last two I fought with the fire flamethrower were just so strong. 
kind of wish I had to like actually fight too and learn it. But uh, you know, I'm asking for that now. I don't, I don't know for how it would be if I was really in that situation. These are me where like these credits are like stretching weird. Anything, any end credit stuff? No? That's it? This is the year since we came as close to achieving our organization ultimate goal 45 years. That's such a shitty resolution. I just think it was cracking as a gigantic hunting sea monster. I couldn't do more. Dude, this. Uh, when I had to fight that one griffin, oh my god, that was probably one of the hardest fights. The coolest fights that I, I've done. Because it, it felt like like it was. The whole time, the griffins were made out to be like. Like insane, like like you like the game is doing your favor by making it so you don't have to fight these things. Like you're lucky that it's picking up the civilians, so it doesn't stack on you, right? And then when when I seen it in the courtyard, and I after just fighting a minotaur, I was like, okay, there's a, gonna be a buildup. I might have to fight this thing, but not now. But I had to fight it then and there, and and I, it was just rough. But uh, I was sorry, but I did it. I did it. It was, felt, felt good. Felt good. Cities across the globe, although they prefer the meteor carcass of a werewolf, griffins overcome their cat like curiosity with humans and make a meal out of us when hungry enough. Yes, mother of all monsters. But the body of a serpent. In some myths, she had more than a than one cup. These tentacles that emerge from the ground sometimes feel like they're working together or that they're part of some larger creature hidden deep under the earth. Do not use Molotovs when one of these things grabs you. God damn. We were in the Minotaur's maze! Oh, uh, that was cool. When you, when you first fought that guy, oh, this, this dude's scary as fuck. Holy shit. His height appears bigger than in the front, making him almost bulletproof. This relentless angry bull will charge through walls to get prey, but only advantage is added is my agility and fast reflexes. Actually, more vulnerable to attacks. If I can successfully dodge a charge, I never fought this guy the way I was supposed to fight him. It, 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 he's always facing you, he's always charging you. What am I supposed to do? You can't, like, 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 uh, sway? No, swift? Strafe. You can't strafe, really. So I just, I guess, I just shot him in the front a bunch of times till he died. <laughs> Alpha werewolf. No, that transformed human being at all. Instead, this creature is its own species, something between an ape and a canine. On the ground, and it is a supreme predator. Superhuman strength, opposable thumbs. <laughs> oh, what was that? Opposable thumbs and razor sharp claws gave it the ability to tear through doors and hurl large large objects at their prey. Unfortunately, human beings appear to be the werewolf's prey of choice. These creatures are stronger than their cousin, the limbless werewolf, and act as an alpha male slash female in mixed company. Okay, they'll go down after taking enough damage. A lot of damage. Actually, but they'll get back up unless decapitated. These guys are like very tanks, only but far faster and more agile. Ah, fuck these things. <laughs> Of a battle between a brave warrior, Riko, and a giant spider demon, Tetsuko Kumo. Riko killed the demon by splitting her belly open. However, thousands of large red spiders fell from that. The bloody boomerang crawled onto the corners of the earth, Na nicknamed Blood Spiders by Council of Foot Soldiers. Tetsukumu's children is a creature that consists of two parts the spider brood and the queen. The queen is a larger 
the interior version of a brood that serves as a home in gestating chamber for new brood members. It spritz out spiders left inside before cleaning it in a giant mess. The spiders individually are weak but fierce and it's swarm. As you know, demonic beings called Naral come from Eastern Europe. This Slavic myth associates them with the souls of dead children. All the Bulgarian versions, uh, so much reading. Notice that they go ghost to solid form before the attack. That's just from the book. In Jewish folklore, a golem is a being formed from inanimate matter, like clay. The one I just saw formed from the rubble of destroyed, destroyed buildings and wrecked cars. Then it tore into the remaining structures, destroying everything in its path. <laughs> According to Lexington, like golems are held together by some kind of energy field that can be disrupted with an electromagnetic pulse. I have no idea what any of that means, but it sounds like we better stock up on lots of lots of batteries. Weak and ravenous from hunger, these were, were wolf-like creatures suffer from a highly accelerated metabolism that forces them to hunt for food day and night. The hunger preys the most wolf werewolves. It's fairly easy to take down one on one, but they can be overwhelming in greater numbers. I can beat them down, but if I don't take off their heads, they'll get back up. Neat trick. Got to remember to keep my axe handy. Right, right, right. Yeah. Oh, this scene is a lifesaver, man. Um, the signet. Feature something they call it MS Verte. They say that the box stamped with me with the signet as a safe device and it contains encoded information on how to reverse the process and jam the monsters back inside us. To resolve and manipulate MS is a byproduct of all the fail safe pro pro process handy. This is so good. Uh, yeah, we get those uh, better rifle, right? Oh, oh whatever. Oh, to the time when my, my son was messaging me or something, right? Yeah, I hear you. These were cool to read. These are lame to read, though. Your son was going to have better luck there. Nope, you wouldn't. Now, why do they want the white werewolf though? And this is uh, Arbory, this is Gertrude. I heard the towns are all being attacked by horrible monsters. Are you alright? Get here as soon as you can. Aww. Uh -huh. This actually is kind of helpless. I see some of the monsters tear people apart. Without even blinking. Stop being stubborn and get to the shelter. I'm heading there now. See you soon, right? Yeah, I think you make a terrible mistake. It's dangerous no matter where you go. Yeah, it is sad. Alright. And then there's stupid objectives. Good. Well, I guess that's pretty much it, man. Load episode. Just the credits. Yeah, okay. Alright! Oof, we finished this game. It was fun. It was cool. I loved it. I loved, loved all of it. Uh, final thoughts on the game. Mm. I think it's really grand. Really cool. It has a lot of beautiful set pieces. If they had... If, if it was just a little bit better... 
and like weapon variety and how I could approach problems. Because a lot of times it seemed like I got to shoot. I got to shoot them and I got to go forward. I got to shoot, go forward, shoot, go forward. And there's games that do that very well. There's nothing really wrong with that type of game. But it seemed like this game tried for a little bit of both, right? Like there was like um, in the very beginning where you're like in the shipping place and you need to like platform onto this this um the, these still beams and they're moving and stuff and, and there's just well the werewolves and you gotta you know move and traverse like that was cool right that was that was pretty cool and like i felt like that was a build up to something that's more like like okay there's a reason why your your your, your run jump is fucking insane there's a reason why you run you move really fast um because because you gotta be platforming and stuff but i never really came into to place after that uh segment uh what else was there? And it's because and then that one time when when the werewolf pinned me and when we were defending and they're all coming down from the the rooftops and we're trying to get to that that cathedral cemetery castle place. Uh, they just like that happened one time, one time in the entire game, one time in my entire playthrough, and the werewolf is the most prevalent of the enemies, right? And it seems so weird on the, the keyboard at least. You like mash out of it, and I feel like the only way I got out of it because he took he got stunned from taking damage from my allies. Uh, if there was more like, if it was more, how should I say, on rails cinematic, like that, I think that direction would have helped this game immensely. Where if they had like like this cute little 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 cutscenes where something pops out and grabs you and you got like press buttons to like use your signet on your arm or. Or like 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 you have your shot like they give you the shotgun you take it right or they just they give it to you and you don't have a choice right and then like it's like it's like it's trying to get you and then you just fucking shoot it in the head like up close and just goes everywhere and that'd be pretty cool too right or uh or maybe maybe make fights like like uh not harder but but give you more options right. Like you can make it harder, but but there's also like cute little things you could do like uh lead it to explosive barrels more often or lead it to this one thing so you can like collapse this building on it or you know? Like like cute little things like that would, would go a long way in this type of game. Uh if there was a bit more destructible terrain. Sometimes when I would, like every now and then I would shoot and shit would just explode, things would be destroyed, cover would be blown off, and I oh that felt really good, that one shotgun shot. But that was only like a few times per, like one time per, per part. And I feel like if they were to focus, like if they were to go more in a specific direction, right? Like you don't need platforming, you don't need like like puzzles and shit like that. Like you, if you have it on rails, but you don't need it on rails if you have platforming and puzzles. And if you have it on rails or or like if you leave more more to the one or the other, you could tell more of a more of a story instead of, um, instead of having it all through the PDA because. Think about this, right? Uh, well, there's a lot of times where where you're walking through this 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 little like square, this rectangle, right? You're walking through this rectangle, and there's, like some weapons, and I'm just not. And then it's 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 obviously just a loading screen. It's obviously just a way for them to load something in for the next segment. And and if you were if instead of that, if it was like okay. Um, you sit down here in your you're, you're in a car or you're you're moving or just something that's 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 moving you, or you're just walking with this NPC right and they're talking to you and they're giving you dialogue because a lot of what's going on here is really interesting. Like there's there's just two rivaling factions in in Europe and they're trying to get control of this box to for whatever means to whatever ends right. Like and you're just thrown in the middle of that. That's so interesting. That's so that's so cool. That's so cool. And like, like you're you're fighting minotaurs and griffins and werewolves with fucking semi autos and rockets and flamethrowers and it's just it's 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 a good clash. It's a really good clash and they do it excellently and the the immersion's great. And 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 I guess Metro is a game I would like to play too and record that. I haven't played it, so it'd be pretty cool. But I know I know some parts of Metro where you're just you're just riding and they're talking to you and you really get immersed because they're talking to you and about like the world or about what's going on or just something casual and it really it really sends home 
the type of circumstances that these people are, are under and the type of people they are for how, for how they, they communicate with you about the said circumstances, right? But none of that was really a thing. And whenever we were talking to Vivian, like, uh, it was just, it wasn't really, it was just like, like, LaFay, fuck LaFay. This fucking LaFay cunt doing this stupid ass shit, right? It was just that. And I was like, yeah, yeah I don't like LaFay either. F that guy. I hope he, he gets ripped apart, you know? But, um, yeah, if, if it was more real, it's like, you'd be able to tell more of a story, and I had this stupid PDA, and, and you see it in the beginning, like, I would always press that button on accident, I learned not to, obviously, but still, like, like just, just that, just destroy the immersion, like, what am I gonna do, pick up PDA, read it, and stop, like, listen to the, the, the rock music, and just, just read it, while it's a minotaur, it'd probably kill me, because I, I just found it and picked it up, like, no, I'm not gonna do that, I won't do that. <laughs> Get out of here with that. Like, I don't want to read, right? Uh, <laughs> I, I, I read, okay, guys? I read. But, uh... Yeah, yeah, so, so like, uh, with, with that aside, like, that's, that's probably, my, like, the major... Some of the major things that I see with this game. Uh, but over, overall, like, like, its strengths, where it does good, like, well, where it... Where, where it excels, I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Like, like for sure. I think it gave 8 out of 10, but thinking about it more and talking out loud about it, it feels it feels like a more 7 out of 10, maybe even a 6 out of a, out of a 10 game. But it is unique. It's a very unique game. It's very cool. And it's memorable. It's really memorable. Like, uh, that Griffin fight, the first minute turn encounter, the moving to towards the, the, the castle cathedral thing and the, and the, and the glass lights and the, 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 the day changing and... And the... Uh, and when when you mean the box is going crazy when you first open it and and the griffins are coming down and the golem or even towards the end where where you enter and there's like you have all these people it's like a firefight and they all just die instantly and 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 you look up at the tower that you're going to go up to the tower that you've seen in the beginning of the game and you see all these helicopters and and the kraken and this killing big band like like it's all memorable like i'm going to remember this for the rest of my life right um which is cool as fuck it's very, it's a very memorable experience, which is, which, which isn't something that you get a lot, a whole lot of, right? Um, I, I'll say the biggest difference between Half Life One and Two is, is how memorable it is. Like, uh, Half Life One is way more memorable. No, is it really? It's been a long time. Maybe I shouldn't use that example. That's bad. I never mind. I forget I said that. But it's definitely a memorable game for, for especially for it being like a six out of ten. Like at the lowest and then five out of ten at the best. It's actually a seven out of ten at the best. It's it's a really good game. Because because it's just majority of the time it it uh, I don't even know how to put this. This this game makes me feel so weird about about it because it's just it's so sick. It's so cool and the concept of it is so cool. And I think a lot of the things are executed really well. It's I just I just I just hope. No, I hope I I just wish it a lot of different things for the game. You know, I wish it was it had these little extra things. I wish it was a little little better in certain departments. I wish it focused more so on on uh, being one or the other over kind of being a little bit of both of on rails and puzzles and platforming. But it's practically like budget doom. <laughs> it's it's budget doom that that is memorable. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to sum it. Budget doom that's memorable. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I think 40 minutes is an excellent time to wrap it up. Uh, yeah, I'm going to try to upload all these and have them go periodically. I'm just thinking out loud now. I'm just mumbling. All right, I'll... I'll <laughs> this is going on too long. A little too long. I don't want to end it. I'm kind of sad to put it down. I feel like I didn't get enough out of it. That, that's the thing. I think that's the thing that makes it a 6 out of 10, if it had to be a 6 out of 10, is I want more. I wanted more, mm, but I had it like, like if I would have gotten more with less, I'll be so much happier with that. If this game was like, like, like a whole segment shorter, but it was just, just better overall, like I'll be so happy with that. But, mm, good game though. It's a good game. Oh, when you're in the laboratory too, that's pretty, that's pretty neat. That was actually a really cute, cute part. <laughs> they didn't have to do any of that, but they did. That was cool. Oh, yo, and that was that was a 
Okay, last last thing. When when you're in in the laboratory and you hear the, the the scientists talk about the things, like like they'll tell you facts about the world that you're in, and it's just that was a really cool moment. That was a really cool moment to hear about how um how how they see the the monsters, how they perceive it, right? Yeah, it, that was cool. I don't really remember what they said, but I remember they said something that that was very interesting and that I wanted a lot more of. Yeah. Okay, that's pretty much it. Oh, what I click? I click something. But uh, yeah, definitely buy this game. I got it. I got this game for a dollar. <laughs> I got this game for a fucking dollar. You know what? When I look at it that way, it's one of the best dollars I've ever spent on a game, at least, or ever probably. Probably one of the best dollars I've ever spent. Imagine that's 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 a thought. Yep. All right. Thanks for watching my let's play of Legendary. It's a really great game. Um, recommend it to your friends. Have your friends play it because you're not gonna want to play it after seeing me play it, right? <laughs> so, well, the get the gun the gun gameplay is really good, and when and, and when you get the hang of it, it feels so smooth and feels so nice, and it's just you're just you're just going through everything, and and when I'm in a situation where they throw shit at me and I was not expecting it, instead of dying and and just redoing it, knowing what, knowing what's happening, like. Like you, you could solve it. You could fix it. You could get through it all and feel like a fucking badass. And I definitely done that a couple of times where, like, I'm in this zone, and I was like, okay, I got this. I got this. Try extra hard. Dig in. Dig in. We got this. And I, I run around and I use the move movement and I throw grenades and I and I shoot this and I shoot that and I kill this and I bust out the axe and I don't have time to reload. And it just comes down to the wire and it feels so good once it's the, the dust settles and you're the last one standing and oh that those 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 are some really good moments in this game. Yeah, that's probably the best feelings. It's it's actually like a really honest game overall. I think that's one of the, the one of the good good things. There's a little jank here, little little glitches here and there, but it's actually a really fucking honest game. It's a it's one of the more honest games that I played. And uh, yeah, all right, see you guys. Bye bye.